Hello friends, it's uh, Boros here and it's time uh, for the recap uh, with my 150k team on PS4. And we actually had uh, great success uh, this week, you're gonna see the games later first, we're gonna talk about the team and tactics. We have, uh, well, you saw this team uh, last time, I think Courtois is fantastic, even though I would like to upgrade to Ter Stegen. Also Militao is, uh, well, he is a top tier. Sule though, um, he is very solid and I did actually never feel that his pace was any issue because you can see here his pace, it's a 53 acceleration but with Shadow he's gonna get the 68 and 97 sprint speed so I still think that sprint speed is more important for center backs and I have to tell you that he was amazing this weekend, same with the Schultz. Maybe the weak link in the defense is Odrio Zola, even though that he also was pretty solid. But yes, if you can get Semedo, that's going to be a huge, huge upgrade. Also, we have Arturo Vidal, and Arturo Vidal is my favorite player maybe in this team. He is uh, simply so good, and you don't expect him to be that good either. 84 rating, and he is just uh, the king in the defense. Uh, of course, his pace is sometimes an issue. But he's so strong and so uh, solid with his tackles and also he scores a lot of goals with his, uh, well you can see, 75 finishing and 84 shot power and 82 long shots. That is fantastic stats for a midfielder. I would say that he is a lot better than Goretzka, even though I also like Goretzka a lot. And the big surprise of this weekend league, I knew that he was going to be fantastic. Pistolero Suarez and just look at these stats, playing as a cam. And also sometimes a striker, you're gonna see later the tactics, but uh, 30 games, uh, 33 goals and 15 assists. So don't steer yourself blindly on the pace. With Hunter it will still be decent, but this guy, man, this guy has some fantastic finishing also. Forza weak foot, and with that uh, 91 finishing, man, he is uh, he's smashing it. He is smashing it, also very strong, good in the defense, uh, good dribbling. And as I said, his pace is good enough. Suarez is a bargain, only 41k for Pistolero, and I think it's even less now. We have also Usman Dembele playing on the wing, pretty solid, but I uh, usually feel that uh, he is a bit disappointing because of his strength. He is uh, very weak and not so aggressive, and I feel that, uh, well, these uh, physical stats are an issue. Same thing with uh, Koeman. Even though he is a bit stronger, his uh, finishing, I feel, is not good enough. And this is really the weak link in the attack. Unfortunately, Kingsley Coman. Then we probably have the best player in the whole team, and that is uh, Vissam Ben Yedder. 69 goals in 66 games with 40 assists playing as a striker. Ben Yedder is just magical. I can't wait to upgrade to his uh, ones to watch or his inform because this card is just something else. And it was also amazing in FIFA 19 but with this uh, different meta in FIFA 20 he is even more useful he has a good pace a great shooting a good passing amazing dribbling in 90 agility and 89 balance and uh, well he's not the strongest but with that finishing and that balance that uh, makes up for it and the tactics were very similar to what we had on Xbox uh, same here with the balanced 4-3 balanced 5-5 as the ultra defensive with the 4 2 3 1 here, Ben Yedder, Striker, Suarez, Cam, and Coleman Dembele on the wing. Just the same here, comeback on defense for the attacking quartet, nothing else. But the difference is that I didn't use the stay back on attacking support for the CDMs, as I feel that, well, they simply need some more support in attack. They are not as excellent as I have on Xbox with Eusebio, Messi, Neymar, and Infor Manier. Uh, this attacking quarter simply needs some more support from the midfield to score goals. And also with the 4-4-2, that was maybe my key formation on the PS4 this weekend with the 150k team. Suarez been in the playing strikers, Coman Dembele on the wing, and the rest makes a very, very big sense. But yes, comeback on defense, no getting behind, the stay back cover center for the mids, and the stay back for the fullbacks, and the rest is... On default and also tactics here, pressure on heavy touch with 5-6, so very aggressive, playing a 4-4-2 here with this team, and also balanced the 5-7 with slightly more runs here uh, from the midfield and also from the wingers. So yes, uh, these were my two main tactics, and now we're gonna see how it actually looked in the gameplay with this fantastic uh, cheap team. Alright, uh, starting from 30-0, we get a nice start in the Sweeker League. 
We're gonna play this uh, first one here with that uh, rat badge, and you know that you can never trust anyone using that badge. But we're gonna get a pretty bad start in this game here, and he's gonna get the first goal here with a mistake from our center back. Well, that was my mistake, and he gets this uh, rebound here with De Bruyne. But we have a Courtois in the goal, and this is a great save. He's showing his class. He was great for me. This weekend league made really some uh, crucial saves. So we are down here with uh, one goal, but we're going to get back as far as with some nice movement. He has a great dribbling. He finds uh, Ben Yedder. And that the first time finishing still works uh, from good angles. And once again, Ben Yedder. Five star weak foot, but that is just a fantastic save from his Oblak. And then we have Suarez here. Once again, with the great uh, skill moves, uh, he gets the ball back, uh, but, uh, well, it's a bit messy in this uh, situation. In the end, Suarez finds the pass uh, to Usman Dembele. Nice uh, first-time fake shot, and who else but uh, Ben Yedder this time. He was just magical for me. This weekend is a great defense uh, from Militao. Last thing to happen in this game, and we get the win, so 14-0. and Moving over to this uh, next team. It's a nice team with the Son, Kante, Griezmann, and also that icon swap. Pep Guardiola and in this game we're gonna get the first goal great start as well as finds Ben Yedder and he also shoots this in with some great power near post finish after this great pass to Goretzka just using that flicking with the right stick pressing the right stick is a great trick and uh, well, it's uh, the second goal in this game and also Vidal was magical, so the midfielders in this game stepped up. Time for the next one, so 16 and 0, that was a great start. And this guy with the Scream Insigne, who I think is fantastic in FIFA 20, always uh, creates some problem when I face him. And here Kings the Command on the wing, can't find any option, goes back to the middle and then back to the box uh, where we have Ben Yedder, far post, finesse shot, a fantastic finish from this little French magician. This is some uh, good defense, but he gets the ball back and uh, with Adama Traore on the wing. A bit unfortunate for us, it goes uh, through the leg of Militao. We're standing there to try to block it, but here we're going to make a mistake from the midfield, losing the ball in the build-up, and that is Neymar scoring 1-2. We are in trouble, but we're going to make a very quick answer here. Benio finds the bias to Suarez, Pistolero, that is a fantastic finish from him. His finishing was just on a different level this weekend. But another mistake, this guy played the press uh, pressure on heavy touch. And he was going to get some dividends from this twice. And who else but Scream Lorenzo Insigne. And after this, we had to press a lot, of course. We had some uh, problems to get the ball back. He's the post here and his super sub here, uh, Sant Maximan, scores to 4-2. And this was very tough now. But we're going to find some last energy. And Nangolan finds the pass to Ben Yedder, great finish, and we have some contact, we have a 4-3. So only one goal left, uh, one goal difference to take this to extra time. And we're gonna get this last chance here. Ben Yedder finds it to Vidal, trying to find it into the box, uh, but his Alex Tejas makes a great tackle. That's unfortunately the first loss of the weekend. Moving on, 18-1 and against iFootman, and this was the last game of Saturday. I was gonna save 10 games for Sunday night. So this was a crucial game, either 18 and 2 or 19 and 1 going into the last session of for champs. There's a massive difference, and this was a really important game. And here uh, Suarez with a fantastic first time shot, and this uh, first goal was very pivotal. We also get a great chance with the Kingsley Coman, but his Keeper here with a great save and he is gonna also get some great chances but look at this tackle from Militao, that was a real clutch tackle from him and moving on we're gonna well be assaulted here by Dukuria, he, he's just losing his mind this guy, he gets a red card but despite being one man down he was continuing, well he was continuing his pressure and to create chances and this time Sule in the right position and uh, Schultz here on the ball but he does it once again I don't know what happened to him maybe I don't know someone was doing something bad to him at the moment uh, maybe he forgot uh, his chicken in the oven and it was burned I don't know what happened really but we're gonna get the win in the end with two red cards and moving into Sunday with 19 and 1 against the Fenerbahce this first game, Mbappé, Coman and Dembélé. A lot of French players in this team as you can see. Only Semedo 
being uh, Portuguese. So 10 French players, but uh, it doesn't matter here. Fantastic work from Benyeder. Uh, great uh, dribbling, finding it to Suarez. Just taking our time, trying to find his pass into the box. We find it. And Benyeder here with the well from a very tough angle. He manages to find the net for the first goal. And after this also Kingsley Coman. Nice drag back. Finding back uh, to Ben Yedder, and this is a bit lucky with the um, ricochet, but we get the 2-0 no matter what. And after this, also great defending from uh, Militao. He was, well, the main centre-back for me this weekend. Uh, but also, I think Sula did a fantastic work. And uh, from this, uh, we're going to find uh, a lot of ball rolls to uh, simply open up some new lanes. And also, finishing this with a ball roll shot in front of a keeper. And the 3-0 was it. So 20 and 1 against uh, Somo this next game with the, that the Champions League Messi and Laurent Blanc. And this was a tough player and he's also going to get the, the best start here with uh, Messi. Rebound, uh, good volley and he gets this first goal. But what happened after this I do not understand. This was just something mental, something special. My team just started to act like a full icon team. Here we have Osman Dembele on the wing, fantastic work, he finds it back to Pistolero Zuzu, he scores 1-1 and after this we're just gonna continue and continue and continue. Here Goretzka finds a pass to Ben Yedder, a lot of first time shots this weekend, 2-1 and after this it's just gonna escalate completely and you're not gonna believe the scoreline, we're not gonna show all of the goals. Here Suarez, uh, nice fake shot stop, and Ben Yedder scores it uh, to 3 1. You can see now 5 1, nice one touch passing. Ben Yedder, uh, great finish uh, near post. Then we have 6 1, and in the end, well, you can see it yourself. Uh, you wouldn't believe it if I didn't upload this, but yes, in the end, 11 1. 11 1. Alright, uh, next up uh, we have this team uh, at the 22 and 1. I was starting to hope for top 100. I was like, well, this is maybe possible. We have some decent skill rating. Maybe 29 wins will be enough. But he gets the best start here with Ben Yedder And, well, he's fantastic to use. But he's also a nightmare to face uh, with some Ben Yedder who's going to score, uh, unfortunately for us, one more goal here, he finds it uh, to Messi and this is a bit unlucky for us, he gets a lot of rebounds with him and Ben Yedder in the end scores 2-0. And after this we couldn't really get the energy back uh, and uh, well it was very hard in this game, this guy was good and the 3-0 all so this was definitely going to be a GG. Uh, the second loss of this weekend league and bye bye to top 100 and this was well pretty much the closest we got, this was offside. This guy had a super solid defense. We're gonna get uh, one chance in the end with Nangolan. But uh, 3 0 was the final result. So, next game we have 22 and 2. We're gonna face a Pork Snooze FC. And this, of course, takes uh, the mind to Age Rosemeyer. But this was not him, just only a fanboy. As we know that Age was using this kind of um, nickname before. But without the further ado, we're gonna get uh, the first the great chance in this game. And it's Suarez with that the fake shot. Opens up his defense. And a near post finish. And we get the first goal here to 1-0. But he also has some great chances. But luckily we had the Courtois in the net. This goal who, who just did a fantastic game. That was a nice uh, rush out. And he's gonna make uh, one more important save uh, with this shot from Rashford. And, uh, well, we have uh, the lead, but I feel that it's not a safe lead. We will need uh, one more goal, and we get it. Fantastic work, uh, finding uh, Leon Goretzka. And we get the 2-0. And in the end, also, we're going to find one more goal here with the Suarez. And you see that, well, I don't think that his pace is that big issue. You see how he's running with Hunter. Great finish, and the 3-0 was gonna be a rage crit so 23 and 2 next up we have a tough game with the power ladder and that the scream Ibrahimovic and also Luis Figo on top of that uh, and Bastian Schweinsteiger well that was a, a dangerous and very interesting team with a lot of uh, special cards a lot of different cards a very let's say unmeta but uh, still we're gonna get the, the best start here Dembele on the wing fantastic work uh, nice skill moves uh, quick passing and Ben Yedder in the end it has to be him scoring the first one. And this was a tough game. We had to focus a lot in the defense. And also we had a great chance here with Arturo Vidal. But he is overpowering this shot. And instead, when you miss these chances, very often you will get punished. 
and this time we will do as well with the Luis Figo on the wing finds it uh, to his striker and on the rebound he has Timo Werner and he scores 1-1 one, one. and uh, this was uh, looking like it was gonna go to extra time this is unfortunate for us but instead he's gonna get the last chance Vidal can't make this tackle and he's gonna be here on the breakthrough finding the pass uh, to his striker almost but we have Odrio Zola there he was also great for us this weekend and instead we're gonna get this last chance Benyeder finds it to Vidal and Vissam Benyeder and we're finding the goal Alright, the time for the next one, we have uh, this guy, he was very good, uh, and also of course that the Scream Insignia, he was gonna haunt us uh, this weekend. He was also gonna get uh, the best start in his game, with uh, Messi here finding of course who else, but the Scream Insignia 1-0. And after this we got the one goal back uh, with, uh, well, a bit surprising Kingsley Coman scoring, and this would go to extra time. And this game looked like this a lot, he was just passing it uh, in his midfield and fullbacks and just waiting for me to make a mistake uh, with my center backs and just trying to push up. But we were very patient this game, we had to chase a lot, of course we had an inferior team and we could not uh, try to risk anything, not make any mistakes. And this will go to penalty shootout in the end and it's so funny because I said it, I haven't lost a penalty shootout yet. But I will do it after releasing a tutorial and uh, well as you can see these were not some bad pens but this guy was just great uh, from that uh, penalty spot and in the end we lost this game our first defeat on penalties and we just had to move on after this but it was going to look a bit tricky now because 24 and 3 and we had to win uh, 3 straight games to make uh, that elite one so what looked so good in the beginning, what well, was looking like a dream to get top 100 was starting to look, uh, well, a lot darker at the moment and our players, they had to start to step up. And this is a good pass to Vissam Ben Yedder, great chip shot and we get the first important goal in this game after that the devastating loss on a penalty shootout. Uh, but Kingsley Coman here, finds the way through, nice dribbling, well he has great dribbling, that's pretty much it. And he finds a pass to the middle and Goretzka on that rebound and we get 2-0. And he's also going to get some chances in this game but we had amazing defense and especially Eder Militao. So yes, two games left. Elite 2 is secured and this man, there to Chevape. Well that is a very very funny name and this guy was also good. And he's going to get a nice start here with Lucas Moura. On the wing, uh, great skill move, uh, fantastic actually work from him. Finds the Saudi Mania, and he has uh, one nil. And we had to fight here. We had to use every possible capacity of this team, and that is just Arturo Vidal in his uh, best moments, the scoring with his weak foot. Crucial, crucial goal. But this was a tough game, and uh, Sule had to step up, and that is just some great defending with great composure, not getting stressed. But uh, 87th minute, and he finds his pass through to Salah, and we move the keeper. <laughs> that is a great save. In this moment, I was just seeing my whole weekly league in rewind. I thought it was over, but no! Bissam Ben Yedder won something else, and we score 2-1. And we have uh, now the medley in this game, uh, great dribbling from the super sub, but Papa Gomez. And uh, well, Papa Gomez here with the uh, heel to the flick, and he gets the best dress, and that is a pen and also a red card. And he decided to rage quit this game. So, only one single game left to get Elite One, which was the target, and to get verified on PS4 as well with a 150k team. And the last one was gonna be Rudy with the uh, Sadimani Son, and also Rian Mares uh, as an attacking. Trio. Also he had Kylian Mbappé in there in that attack and Benito here with some nice uh, feints, that's a nice drive back and we get the penalty, I don't know how or why, but we're just gonna take it, the faking left, the shooting slightly right and we get the first important goal in this game and I could start to smell, well, the smell of Elite 1. But we're just gonna continue here and hope for that uh, decisive goal, hope for that uh, final nail in the coffin here. But yeah, the great scale moves, uh, finds the pass to Dembele, uh, but Rosillon is faster, but we just maintain the pressure here. Great work from Usman Dembele, he can pass it, but he's selfish. He tries uh, three times, and in the end, 
we get the goal and it's also gonna be a rage quit after this. I was so happy at this moment, we made it in the end and Elite 1 was completed. Alright guys, that was an amazing achievement, uh, I made the Elite 1 with this team so I got verified and well it could have been even more but of course it is very exhausting playing so many games, I played 60 games this week in league and I finished this PS4 session right after I got the 30 and 0 on Xbox and it was 3 a.m. in the morning with the last 10 games so well the gameplay was good but my eyes were stinging a lot and um, well I simply think that if I was playing only PS4 this week and had only one focus I could have got even better result but I'm still extremely happy with this and we're just gonna keep making upgrades uh, to this team. But this weekend I won't be able to play PS4 that's gonna be saved uh, for next weekend as I'm traveling to Bucharest and Isabel and I'm gonna be away for a long time and I will have to focus on only Xbox uh, for this Weekend, but that's it for today guys. We have the pack opening coming soon with the 30 and 0 rewards plus the elite one rewards from PS4 That's hopefully gonna be a fantastic pack opening. Thank you so much for watching guys and as always, you know, until next time. Take care